good morning. We've just woke up in our first port in Greece and we are in Catacolon, I think it's pronounced, but this is the port you sail into for Olympia. And we've got an excursion booked today for the archaeological site and the museum and a little bit of free time. We're now off to breakfast. Let's go. Here's a quick overview of the excursion details and this cost us £98 per person. We went to the Celebrity Theatre for 8.30 which was our meeting time and location and you can find this on the app and also the excursion tickets which will be in your room on embarkation day. We took our tickets to the desk and they gave us a numbered sticker which has to be kept on throughout the excursion. When our number was called we headed to the gangway and they will always let you know which deck it is on and then we headed to the coach with our number on. We were given this earpiece so that when we arrived at Olympia we were able to hear our tour guide throughout and so she didn't have to shout. So this bit of footage before we get to Olympia, I'm going to show you the local area if you want to get off but don't have an excursion booked. It's a bit of a distance from the ship to the town so it may not be ideal for some people. Before you leave the ship, I recommend going to the top deck to see if it's walkable for yourself. Staff on board may also be able to help advise roughly just how long it would take to walk and if there are any taxis available from the ship. There is a hop on hop off bus, a land train and plenty of shops and restaurants. This excursion involves a lot of walking and being out in the sun so you'll definitely need to wear comfy shoes and I highly recommend wearing sun cream, a hat and also bringing water and a portable handheld fan. I'll pop a link in the description for the one I used and it pretty much saved me on various days of this cruise. So to a lot of people the footage that I show in a minute might look like just a bunch of rocks but I'll put the name of the building or area on the screen as by now you know I'm terrible at pronouncing things but I'll give it a quick and simple explanation as to what each of these buildings were and if possible what they were used for. I'll also put a photo of what they would have looked like to make it a bit more visually pleasing. The red dot is just to show where I was standing when taking the footage that follows. On my right they were still excavating so this area is currently unknown but it led down to the gymnasium where over 18 year old males only trained for the Olympic Games. To my left were the buildings used for religious and political purposes and were where the priests and magistrates lived. It was also used for celebrations and feasts by the winners. The statues that you see at the top of the front has a similar arrangement on the other side and I'll show you those a bit later in the museum. This temple is dedicated to the Greek god Zeus. Zeus is the god of sky and thunder in ancient Greek religion who rules as king of the gods on Mount Olympus. This temple was built in the second quarter of the 5th century BC. The Echo Stoa is located within the Sanctuary of Zeus. A Stoa is a covered walkway, typically open to the public, and used for a variety of reasons such as selling and displaying goods and religious and public meetings. It was named Echo Stoa as it is said one word uttered would echo seven times. So this is the original Olympic Stadium. How incredible is it that we are standing here and if it wasn't so hot I would definitely have gone for a run up to the end and back. I started to get the up with the tour guide at this point because she kept just walking off and giving us almost no time to take photos or videos so bear with me if the videos seem a little bit rushed. Fun fact though, this is where the shot put competition was held for the Olympics in Greece in 2004. They had about 45,000 people come to watch and it was free entry. The treasuries were a series of small temple shaped buildings, each of which were a single room and used for holding valuable offerings including items won at war. A metrum was a temple dedicated to a mother goddess. They were often devoted to one of the names that I'll put on the screen now. And at the base of the treasuries, positioned along the way to the stadium, were bronze statues of Zeus each with the fines imposed on the athletes who had committed the offence of cheating. The positioning was a warning to all competitors. This was the official name of a water distribution structure and this was mainly used to provide water to the masses who attended the Olympic Games. Here is where the torch of the Olympic flame is lit and taken all around the world and it still takes place here to this day. 
this temple was dedicated to Hera, queen of the Greek gods, and was actually built before the Temple of Zeus. This temple, however, was originally built for both of them until he got his own one. In Greek mythology, she is the queen of 12 Olympians and Mount Olympus, also the sister and wife of Zeus. Hmm. This circular building is a memorial made from limestone and marble, which contained ivory and gold statues of Philippe's family and himself. I'll list the names on the screen now. It was made for Philippe's victory at the Battle of Chaeronea. It was the only structure inside the Altis, which is that wall, that was dedicated to a human. All of the websites that I've got the photos from, I'll put the link in the description. And the website for the last one is actually so good as I've got YouTube videos as well, and it's really interesting. But now we're going to the museum and I'll shut up talking for a minute. Once we came out of the museum, it was a short walk to an area with toilets, a cafe and gift shops which is every kind of souvenir you can think of and I just get shoved out of the way there. But anyway, also really excited that they did steal Fanta, thank you very much. And then we got back on the coach before a short drive where we get off for 30 minutes of free time. Olympia area. Stop the bus just there. Just walking down the road. She's doing a talk inside that jewelry shop, but we are not into that. So there's I'm gonna turn the camera around and you can see where we're walking to. I don't actually know where we are or where we're walking to, but it's gonna see where we end up. Seems really cute though, we've got some shops, bars and restaurants. Mink chop chip has my name all over it. Good afternoon, well, look at the state of me, it is so hot outside. Anyway, we went for our excursion today, which was the trip to the archaeological site for Olympia, and we went to the old Olympic Stadium, well, the original Olympic Stadium, and it was so interesting. The tour guide had so much to say, um, so much that probably 
my little brain couldn't take it all in to be quite honest we then walked around the museum that was only for about half an hour but that was very nice to be in the air conditioning indoors in the shade it was lovely we were then taken to the shop outside and the calf so we got really let me find it pretty cute magnet the coach picked us up and it took us to the local town just outside um, and we were allowed half an hour to have a little wander and got a lovely mint choc chip ice cream with the biggest chunks of chunk i can't even talk the biggest chunks of chocolate you've ever seen it was delicious we then got about 45 minutes to coach journey back on an air conditioned coach thankfully because it was registering at 31 degrees today now we're back on the ship we had some lunch around the pool from the mask grill which was just burger and chips now we're going to go and chill by the pool bye stunning We are all ready for dinner and we are off to the main dining room, so come with us. So Mark, what have we got for our bread tonight? No, go on. Come on. I've forgotten. Sesame seed sticks. Yeah. Wheat roll. Yeah. French baguette. Yeah. Creamy ranch dip. Avocado and butter. Thank you very much for your input. Dinner done and we're currently just waiting for some masquerade show to start in the reflections lounge. Celebrating with some garlic bread and ciao. Good evening, we've just come back to the cabin and we're just getting ready to go to bed. We've had a very enjoyable evening tonight. We had dinner in the main dining room, which again was so yummy, always delicious, always the best service, and just a really nice atmosphere. After dinner we went to Deck 11 and the Reflection Lounge which is at the front of the ship and watched a show called Mask which had some of the production cast members which was very entertaining, a little bit weird, we didn't know what was going on but it was very entertaining and after that they got up, um, they got all the guests up and dancing and a lot of the activity staff were there joining in, everyone having a good time. Then we watched the house band Hey Mama and they carried on the party until oh, about half past 11 and at that point after they finished it was just some DJ beats. After the band had finished we decided to go to the casino and put just $20 in a machine and we won. So we went to another machine and we won even more. We won $500 playing Buffalo and then we went on to another machine and we won even more. And then we won again on the same machine and we come out with $800. So it was a very good evening for us. And after that, we were a little bit peckish. So we decided to go to the late night buffet, which is on deck 10. We had some pizza, garlic bread. We've got quite a lot of food up there for that time at night. Um, we was there at midnight and grabbed a drink and came back to the cabin. So that's us done for the evening. Every evening you get given a newsletter called Celebrity Today 
and although it says Celebrity Today, he's actually telling you the news and activities and excursion information for the following day. And tomorrow we've got Santorini. So I'm going to show you what they've um, given us as it's a lot of information and could be helpful to you. So let me just grab that and show you now. So this is the newsletter we get every day with top entertainment, all these bits and bobs. And then there was this put out for Santorini specifically about tendering, the last tender, excursions, if you want to do it independently, lots of information on there if you want to pause to read it. I'm going to turn over to the other side in a second. Some places to go. And Kusadasi is our next pool, so that's just a little bit of information for planning ahead. And this newsletter also gives you the opening times of all the venues. So it's quite handy to take a picture of that, but it is also on your app if you have that. So this is on the Celebrity app and on the Daily Planner you'll be able to see every single day everything that's going on, every activity, every bit of entertainment, every excursion, every time that there's something going on with a shop like a sale etc. You'll be able to see it all on here so here's a little peek of what was on offer for today. It also shows what time the all aboard is so the last time that you'll be able to get back on the ship and you must be back at this time otherwise you are stuffed basically um, and also once you click on one of these items you'll be able to schedule it so you get a notification before it happens so you'll be able to get there in time that brings us to the end of this vlog on olympia thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and hit the subscribe button you can also head over to my instagram travel life with lucy for more content in the next vlog we are visiting santorini and i'll be showing you the reality of visiting on a cruise ship and definitely not what you see on Instagram. See you soon. Bye.